What's up guys, Austin Numi here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial and today we're talking about the TV static intro. I'm going to show you how to do this really easy intro as well as give you the free stock footage to get the TV snow. But before we do, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my stock footage of the TV snow here, and you can find that linked in the description below. Completely free, I've uploaded it for you. If you like it, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video if it's helpful. So I'm gonna take this stock footage and drag it up to the second track here. We're gonna go to our effect controls, and under scale, you'll see where it says uniform scale. We're gonna go ahead and uncheck that so we can see scale height and width, because these are the two that we really wanna interact with. So let's just bring it in about five frames before we start this animation and let's set a keyframe for both of these at zero. Set them right here using the stopwatch. And now let's go over five frames using the right arrow key to go frame by frame. We're gonna go five frames to the right, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna set a keyframe on both of these. For the height, we want 1.0. For the width, we want 100. Now we're gonna go five more frames to the right, one, two, three, four, five. And for the height, we're gonna take that to 100. Now there's still some stuff to do with this, so let's go up here to our effect controls while this is highlighted and hit the plus or the equal sign, it'll show up here. So you will zoom into this little area and see kind of where these keyframes are. What we wanna do is do a couple things to make this look a little bit more realistic. We're gonna go over here to Lumetri Color and under Exposure, we're gonna set this to 3.4. So now that that's set, let's go ahead and go up here so we can actually keyframe this. Now that it'll show up. We'll set a keyframe right here on the first keyframe of this. We're just gonna simply use these little arrows to go back to the other frames and set our other keyframes. So we'll keep this at 3.4, go back up, and we're gonna go to our last keyframe right here when this is fully expanded. We're gonna set another keyframe and this one will be for zero. And that'll give you a nice glow for starting off. There's one more thing that I wanna do and this is why we put it on the second track. So what we'd simply do is hold down Alt and drag up. We're gonna clip this right to where it shows a full frame, right about here, bring this back. We're gonna bring this to the bottom layer. And with this one, with the bottom layer selected, go to your effects and type in fast blur. We're gonna bring this onto this layer and you'll see it right here. So we're gonna check these out just so we can kind of go down. All right, so under fast blur for the blurriness, let's bring this up to 200 and that's gonna give us that nice glow around it and look a lot more realistic. That's as simple as it is to do this intro. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, we'll see you later.